All right, I'm going to show you a little trick how to, whenever you're making a, a sliding sliding door for like a cabinet, um, something I found to be pretty helpful. I'm going to show, give you a little tip on how to do it. As you can see right here, this is the normal cut of a blade. It's just not quite big enough, and this is a piece that would that would normally fit in there. It won't fit in there right now. Um, you can see, you need just a little bit more for that to be able to slide in there. Um, so I'm going to show you a little trick of how to get this groove a little bit bigger. Um, we'll go from there. So I took the saw blade off of the table saw, put it in the vice grip, and then we're going to actually bend the teeth a little bit with just a uh, pair of clamps. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you how to do that real quick. All right, so we have it all clamped up. The trick here is every other tooth you want to bend one that way then one this way I've already bent this one a little bit so we'll go ahead and go to this one and we we'll want to bend it that way a little bit Let's just grab a hold of it it doesn't take a whole lot like that the next tooth we're going to bend it the opposite way every other tooth so you're going to do that in a pattern just like that all the way across By bending those, you don't you don't need too much because for that to fit, we we don't, we need just a little bit. As you, I use that caliper, and you see how much that we need. We don't need that much, so just a little bit in each tooth, just to make it a little bit wider. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through, and I'm gonna do this on every every tooth and then we'll come back. All right, after you've bent your teeth back, I'd set it down, make sure that there's no tooth that's sticking up more than the other because you want it to be pretty balanced. Um, make sure you do that to, to both sides. And pretty good. That little bit extra should give us just, just the right enough amount to where that board should slide in there. So we'll see how it works. All right, so I just made the cut with the teeth a little bit wider and now look perfect slides in there really good just for demonstration purposes I, I took that really really deep um, whenever you make this you really only need to make it about a quarter inch deep to hold your your, your sliding door so but as you can tell works out much better gets a little bit wider without uh, having to stress about it so thank you